Hey there, welcome back to another cool video on Techniverse Spotted. In this video, we are going to see how to professionally edit your audio for YouTube videos. The mic I am using for this video is the Mono AUA04 USB condenser microphone. Anyways, if you are done wasting time, let's just keep all the things aside and let the tech begin. We are going to record and edit our audio in Audacity, which is a powerful free software. Let's record some audio by clicking on this red button. Hey there, a quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Check, check, one, two, three, Hakuna Matata. Now we are going to add some effects on this raw audio. Once you have your audio on the timeline, select all by pressing Ctrl plus A or simply click on the empty area in this left section. Now go to the effects tab and select compressor. Copy these settings and click OK. What compressor does is, it reduces the dynamic range of audio by bringing the quietest and loudest parts of your audio to a level. After this effect, the highest and the lowest parts of the audio sounds normal allowing us to add effects on our audio later without any distortion. Now go to the effects tab and select normalize. Audacity automatically adjusts the settings, leave them on default and click OK. What normalize does is, it sets the maximum amplitude or level of the audio. Now go to the effects tab again and select filter curve EQ. In this graph, make points at 70, 100, 1000 and 2000 Hz. Now select and increase 70 Hz and 2000 Hz to 6 dB and click OK. What this equalization does is, it allows you to increase the volume of some frequencies and reduce others. Now select a part in the audio where you are not speaking. Then go to the effects tab and select noise reduction. Click on get noise profile. Again select all by pressing Ctrl plus A or simply click on the empty area in the left section. Now go to the effects tab and select noise reduction. Audacity automatically adjusts the settings, leave them on default and click OK. What noise reduction does is, it reads the noise profile from your audio and discards that noise from the whole audio. Now go to the effects tab and select limiter. Copy these settings and click OK. What limiter does is, just like compressor, it reduces the dynamic range of the audio by bringing the quietest and loudest parts of your audio to a level. The difference here is, the ratio of limiter is more and it brings down all the quietest and loudest parts over the threshold to a level. Now go to the effects tab and select amplify. Set the amplification to 4 decibels and click OK. What this amplify does is, it helps us in changing the volume of the audio. Now for the last effect, go to the effects tab and select limiter again. Copy the same settings as we gave earlier and click OK. And we are done with the editing. You may tweak the settings according to your need, but these are the settings that I use for my audio. Now to export the audio, go to the file tab and to export option and select export as WAV. Select your destination and change the encoding format to signed 32-bit PCM and save the file. Here are the audio samples of the unedited and editor versions respectively. Hey there, a quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Check, check, one, two, three, Hakuna Matata. Hey there, a quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Check, check, one, two, three, Hakuna Matata. And that was it guys for this video. Like this video if you enjoyed it, comment down the video suggestions that you want to see next on our channel. And lastly, subscribe to Techniverse Spotted for more cool stuff.